Um, hello there, Flying Fox and Bambi Productions here. I'm gonna be doing another Minecraft video. I know, I'm now doing Minecraft videos very often, which are often just like train mods. I must be train craft mod. But this time's gonna be a different mod. Different mod, but I'm not on the 1.7.10 version, I'm now on the 1.12.2 version. Which actually has a different m train mod, which is actually more better than what you get in Traincraft. I mean, it's called the Immersive Railroading, but since I'm British, I call it Immersive Railway. And yeah, let's just see how this is. So, and I'll, you'll see how this is such a cool mod, which you can get. And I actually saw lots of videos on YouTube about this mod, and I do know how to... And see, look at the track, it's so uh, realistic. But also, like, the, cause the, but this is a version of the track, it's like, um... The, the track style, narrow gauge style, it has different versions, I'm just gonna... See, it has lots of... Tracks... I'm sorry about this. Oh, come on. Okay, back to default. And now this. Okay, back to default. So you can see the gauge, it's the Minecraft gauge. But no, there can't be those normal train tracks, so. Yep, and here are the locomotives. I downloaded some resource packs, which they mostly like. Well, I have downloaded some British, the LNER pack, Voxel Train, which I'll get to them later, the American pack, this. And yeah, I'll show you. I'll put down some. I'll, I'll first start with this A1 Pacific. And. So, ooh, ooh, we're actually going pretty fast. You know, this is a different version of the game. But since it actually does scale up, look at that, it's the Flying Scotsman. And also, since I'm using a, since I don't even have a computer, I have a laptop, I can't activate the whistle, unfortunately. And also, there's this feature about the paintbrush thingy, I'll just go to paintbrush. And when I click on this paintbrush, then look what will just happen. Look, Flying Fox, me, it's me, it's me, Flying Fox, engine number 4, four LNEI 34475 Flying Fox, it's me. Also, I'm gonna have to add the tender for him. Oh, so with the tender, I can't even see well. Since I don't even have an LNEI A3 tender, I'm gonna have to use maybe the P2 tender, or maybe... The A1 peppercorn tender. I don't know. Let's see which one fits better. Also, instead of just like linking or coupling up in Traincraft, you just have to just place it close. Yeah, that works pretty fine. Yeah, and that's how it is. So, it just has different gauge. Also, you can even change the type of it. The switch, turntable, custom curve, straight. And... Yeah, and see here is the normal Minecraft gauge. There's also model gauge. Look how small this track is. Oh no. There's also narrow gauge. Wait, let me just time. Set to day. And there's six. And then there's also standard gauge. And the big one is gonna be Burnell gauge. Because I mean look how giant the Burnell gauge is. Wait, let me just like put like I should add more 30 blocks to this thing. Wow, look how big this is. Wow, that's just so giant. Just look at this. Wow. I'm gonna do 
wait, let me just see. Here it is. Look, look at this. It actually has different varieties of track types and all that. But now for this, let's do with the locomotive. So if you want to like drive ahead, then you just have to go to the num link, to the num pad. So like, I'll just go you to the options and I'll just show you the controls. Because you know, it's actually my first time playing. Where is controls? Yeah. I'm playing with a uh, immersive real. If I want to the throttle, it's eight. Okay. So our uh, number eight, we throttle up, and here it goes. See, now it's chopping along the tracks. See, immersive railroading is actually more better than what you get in Traincraft. I mean, look at that. It's so, and even the puffing, look, it's so realistic. Wait, no, no, the, I accidentally pressed five. This is not trains. It's not trains in new era. This is, this is different. And two foo backwards. It actually does a wheel slip too. See? And it stopped. Great. And yeah, it also comes with lots of other locomotives too. It also comes with the... It also comes with Tornado, Big Boy, uh, Class 38, Mallard, A4 Pacific, BR01, I think it's German. We have a resource pack, the, eight, the Union Pacific A44, the GS4, Challenger, Alco 08, T1. Wait, the Pennsylvania T1? Oh my gosh, I have to see, because I love that locomotive. It looks so great. Wow, beautiful. Wow. Wait, if wait, if I do the paintbrush thing, is it will it be? Oh come on. I was hoping we'll have this like this dark green thingy. I'm so happy that this thing is in it. The Pennsylvania T ones are fantastic engines, even though they all of them were scrapped. But the P but the Pennsylvania T one trust might be will be will be is in construction. The like the new build T one. I'm so happy the T1 is in this. I love this engine. Also, they know they don't look blocky, but I'll sh cause I'll just show you the big boy in this, like the the first the default version of the big boy. Just look how big it. Is. I know this is not like standard gauge, but look how big. Look look at this. It just looks so accurate. But I know it doesn't look blocky, but there is this other big boy. Which actually drove me nuts. I I fell in love with it. It was just game over. I just have to look for it. Tenzer. Come on, big boy Tenzer. E I Yeah, that is. So I'll show you how the big boy in the voxel trains looks like. Me look at it. It looks so cool. Look at it! It's so real! Oh my gosh. Also, I also disabled fuel requiring, so I don't have to waste time just fueling up the locos by steam locos by coal and water. <sighs> I'm in love with this mod. I'm, s I'm gonna play with this for hours. I mean, really. This is just so cool. I love this thing so much. Sorry, and also I'm very sorry because I'm having a bit of a cold. Sorry, so I'm also sweating a bit. I think it's just because I'm overexcited. That's all. I think I'm gonna drive the big boy too. Also, because you know, if you were to like um fuel up the big boy, it takes a very very long time for it to steam up. So I'm gonna wait. No, 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 no. I don't need any coal. This is not train craft. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with me? Why do I keep confusing things with trains and train crafts and all that? This is a must. This is railroading. Really, this is so cool. Oh wait, I have to add some rolling stock to it too. So I need some wagons, some Americans. You know, this is an American locomotive. I'll use the passenger. Ooh, there's a lot of passenger wagons. There's some Eleni Artigno. Uh, we need 
yeah, the Pennsylvania coach. Even though there's no Union Pacific coach, then I'm fine with it. I actually have to add two to it, even though, I know, I know, two is a very dumb decision for a big boy locomotive. Because, you know, the big boy... Oh, it actually connected pretty good on that cup. Oh, but the wheel is off. Ah, uh, but don't worry, it's a little glitch. It'll be fixed. So, ready, big boy? Oh, wait, I can't blow the whistle. Okay. Uh, never mind. So, let's let's power this... Oh, now, Lincoln, let's power this big boy up. Oh, look at look at the steam. How many now from the cylinders? Oh, and here it comes, chuffing. I can listen, make it. S I can even hear the puffing, even from out far. I can hear its puffing sounds. I mean, just look at that. Here it is, immersive railroading. I love this mod so much. Hope you enjoyed this very fantastic video. I'll do more videos on immersive railroading. And also, there's this other feature. When you walk in the cab, when you walk, you can even walk in the coach and have a little seat while you're riding along the train. That looks so cool. I'll do a part two on immersive railroading soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you all soon. Bye.